Okay, so again, the normalization condition, um, which basically says that the, um, that, that the energy has to be somewhere, it has to be in one of the modes, um, is uh, basically given here, that the sum of all the probabilities has to be equal to one, and if we rewrite this, if we basically set Q equal to e to the minus h nu over kt, which again is a constant um, uh, for a particular frequency and a particular temperature, um, then we can rewrite um, the normalization condition like that. Okay. Now, what you should realize, or what you might realize, is that this this sum here is actually a geometric series. Okay, you have to recall, go back, <laughs> go back to your trigonometry or calculus class, and we have uh, the sum of a quantity to a power, okay, uh, and that power is getting incremented um, uh, by one um, unit each time. Then um, there's actually an expression for uh, you can actually write an expression for this sum in terms of q, okay. All right. So what you need to remember is that the uh, is it the partial sum of of, an, of a, a geometric series, q to the ith power, where i now is going from zero to p, not to infinity. Okay, so this is a general expression. Okay, is equal to one minus q to the p plus one divided by one minus q. We're going to give this name just g sub p to remind us it's a geometric series, and we'll use that in a little bit. But but the important thing is that that you have this um, expression. Okay, for the um, for the uh, uh, for the partial sum of this geometric series. Now, in the case like we have an infinite series where we're going from zero to infinity, so if we basically look at the limit when p goes to infinity of this, then what we see is that the um, and and also for q is less than one, which in our case is true, because uh, frequency is always a positive is always positive temperature is always positive, so this quantity here is always going to be less than one, then um, something less than one to an infinite power is going to basically um, uh, converge to zero. And so we can neglect this term and we get the infinite series is just, uh, the sum of the infinite series is just one over one minus q. Okay, so now if we basically uh, substitute in for q, uh, e to the minus h nu over kt, and don't forget about the um, the a here. Okay, then what we find is that um, uh, is that uh, a times one a over one minus e to the minus h nu over kt is equal to one. Okay, and this implies that a is equal to one minus e to the minus h nu over kt. Okay, and I should point out here that there should be an A right there. Okay. All right. So uh, this this gives you an expression for A, which when you um, uh, plug into the expression for the for the uh, probability, gives you um, you just plug in this expression for A, and you multiply by e to the minus n h nu. KT. Okay, so now that gives us an expression for the probability of, a, of an energy given by H nu um, being in a particular mode, N. Okay, Okay, now to calculate the, um, the average energy in a particular mode, then uh, what we need to do is multiply the energy of that mode times the probability of, um, of that mode basically being populated. That is that that mode uh, actually having a, an actual uh, wave corresponding to it. Okay, and we just sum then over all the different um, the different modes. Okay, so uh, let's write an expression for that. Okay, so the energy of a particular mode is just the f this sort of fundamental chunk of energy h nu times some index number n. It's a multiple of that. And then the probability uh, uh, for having an energy for having that mode is just given by this expression, which we've written right up here. Okay, so you just multiply those two things together.